Hello and welcome to touchuppaints.com.au Here we have a bumper bar that has been hit and that has been already plastic welded. The actual bumper bar had a rip in it where it was ripped here and ripped here and somebody has welded that plastic together and left it looking a mess. Quite a shonky job. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try and make that invisible is what we're going to try and do so that you can't tell that it had that rip. Now it's not recommended to put plastic filler in into plastic bumper bars but uh, a lot of people do do that. Obviously your warranty would be void should have that been the case. Anyway, right now I'm going to show you what we're going to do to make that look like the other side. Okay, so we're going to need the buzzer and 40 grit and we're going to shim that plastic right down. As you can see, that's really starting to take shape now, isn't it? Now we're going to use 80 grit to take out some of those uh, scratches and vibrator marks that the uh, 40 left. <laughs>
Now 180. What we're going to do now is we're going to mix up a little bit of plastic filler and we're going to put a bit of plastic filler in where it's nice and low here. And then we're going to level that off and this side as well. I'll be right back. Okay, here we have some plastic filler and we've put a little bit on there, about 200 grams and uh, the prescribed dose as per hardener. Each plastic filler is different, so you need to read the specifications. So we'll just draw that around. And making that all one color. Just squeeze it in nice. The first thing you do is squeeze it in really good, like so. Squeeze it in there everywhere so that you get the product to stick the best that you can. And then do the fill. Try and get it on as level as you can, following the shape of the panel.
you can use different size scrapers on this. They make different size scrapers. I usually just use the one, but they do have little ones which should help you get into those tight spots. But once you've got a bit of skill with the product, you should be able to maneuver your, uh, your spatula. that up and get it to dry quick. take a little bit to set off so what we'll do is we'll mask it up now
now I'll just go and get the uh, another piece of paper there. <coughs> so all surrounding areas are covered. I'm going to overspray. I'll just mix up the high fill for this, the primer putty, and I'll be back in a minute. Just mixed up about 50 mils of high fill, 4 to 1, high fill primer, that'll level that edge and uh, give it a, 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 good, uh, a good fill. is ready now. And what we'll do is we'll be able to sand that now so we'll use a uh, sheet of 40 just to knock off the top. Yeah. <laughs> 
use about a 320 just to tidy up the edges. <laughs> So I'm just going to mix up a little bit of Nicky. actually going to sand this I'm just going to put it in the holes press it into the holes and then the job of the high fill will take care and level that as we're sanding it so we'll just put a little bit in those pin holes it's a pretty good quality plastic filler that we're using so it doesn't pin hole much some of them in a hole more than others and this one happens to be uh, a, an item that doesn't do that too much a couple of deep 40 40 paper marks there it's a little bit nifty in those as well about ready for a pipe I'll need my mask for this, my spray mask, so we'll get that. Now I prepared that high fill earlier on 